Hey, sports fans, Larry Eater, Run Blog Run, with our program Socialing the Distance. This week we featured Max Siegel, CEO of USA Track and Field. Um, Max is a uh, likes to people to see that his actions uh, speak louder than his words a lot of times. But I thought for the last forty minutes um, he was very transparent. He talked about the sport. Uh, no subjects, so you know, we're off limits. I didn't get any of that stuff, which um, I have had people in the past try to do that to me, but Max didn't do that at all. Um, I like that he's a straight shooter. Um, I like his background coming from NASCAR. Um, and what we talked about, first of all, I congratulated him on getting involved with the American Track League in a big way. And he gave credit where credit's due to Adam Schmenk. Uh, the USATF producer who handles a lot of the programming. And, and I think he, you could see his imprimatur on there. Uh, the second uh, meet was well done without a bold and Paul uh, Swangard and Lewis Johnson. They did a great job, but the athletes really shown. And that's the thing with the, with great programming, the athletes can be seen. You can see their story and you can see their performances because at the end of the day, what TV is supposed to be, what Bud Greenspan got, what Peter gets, is that Olympic athletics is all about the storytelling. Tell the story well. Let the competition speak for itself. Have announcers who love the sport and are educated and have the data to do it well. And that's what we saw last weekend. Looking forward to seeing that in meeting three. But we had several other topics that we talked about. Uh, we talked about Mike Connolly becoming the chair of the USATF uh, board. Uh, also did not know that Max did not vote on that at all because uh, he's kind of ex officio. Um, talked about their challenges a, a bit. He alluded to some of the standards that the USOPC um now requires USATF, which is one of their biggest federations, requires them to do. Uh, he talked about the IOC and some of the challenges they have and how, yes, he'd love to see cross country in the Winter Olympics, but right now that's not to be. I think at the end of the day, Max strikes me as a pragmatist. Um, and uh, he has uh, about $40 million a year from Nike to use to build the sport. At one point, I called the USA Track and Field the Pied Piper of Athletics, which is what I think they should be doing, leading and throwing things into different pots and trying to help, you know, a, a throw meet here, a, a pole vault magazine here, um, uh, Paul Doyle's meets here, Mark Wetmore's meet. That's how they should be doing it and letting um, – Free market forces kind of uh, build help build the sport because I think they can. Um, he did say, and I like to hear that that he'd like to see more meets in the U.S. Um, we talked about whereabouts for a little bit because you know the truth is uh, I can't blame USATF about whereabouts. This is WADA and USADA, and uh, but they do educate the athletes, and we kind of gave it the importance it's supposed to. Um, we talked about, I, I wanted to hear from him about the Atlanta Olympic trials and that those six athletes will be on the Olympic team. He does believe that the Olympics will actually happen in 2021. We've got Eugene in 2022. Um, and uh, I threw a, a, a softball at him about just his favorite Olympics. And he talked about London 2012, taking his kids there and his family and getting to enjoy that as uh, first time he was leading USA track and field. Um, what you get in, in, in speaking with Max Siegel is that there's a thoughtful man there. Um, and I think we, we all see different um, parts of him. I think the managers and agents have seen a part of him. I think the athletes see a different part of him. I think his board and his staff sees another. And I think myself as a member of the media see another part. And um, this is a guy who's uh, dad managed uh, the Beatles. Um, he's been in entertainment his entire life. He is a, uh, in, in, you should check out his autobiography, which you can find it on Amazon. Fascinating story as a kid. It'll help you understand, uh, some of the trials and tribulations he's been through and why he is the way he is, but also 
and this is something you, you've got to understand. Nike would not have signed that $40 million deal if Max Siegel wasn't there. Um, and I've heard this from several folks in the land of the swoosh. They were impressed with him, uh, including the former, um, including some leaders here. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but uh, Max Siegel impressed USATF to the point that they put money into the sport until 2043, is it? You know, and uh, it's a testament to the most winning team in all of um, USA sports is track and field since 1896, baby. Don't knock it. So Max has got a lot to lead. You know, he's got 1.4 million high school kids. He's got a couple hundred thousand college kids. He's got millions of runners and walkers. Um, and his job is to put as many medals, Olympic medals, world championship medals in the coffers for the USOPC to grad, to brag about and to get donations off. And there are times when USA track and field has to go its own path, but he's been able to juggle that. And I find that fascinating. Uh, so thanks, Max Siegel, for 40 minutes, uh, 39 minutes and 40 seconds, actually. And um, I thought you were very clear, very thoughtful. And um, I think it's good for the sport to know who our leaders are. So this is Larry Eater with Run Blog Run, socially in the distance with Max Siegel. CEO of USA Track and Field, and uh, like Run Blog Run, um, like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's really important. That's how we get paid. Those are the eyeballs. We need your eyeballs. And then, if you love us, subscribe on the YouTube. And uh, we have 369 videos and audios from 2020, and we have over 2,500 audios, videos, and you know. Weird Facebook things about me uh, up to, so, you know, just delete the stuff about me and there's stuff for every uh, event in track and field, okay? Stay safe, wear a mask when you're indoors. Don't make, uh, do something dumb. And uh, when you're outside, if you can't be six feet apart, wear a mask, hydrate, exercise, call somebody each day, tell them you love them. And um, on Wisconsin. And go Broncos, Santa Clara University. And I'm grateful that my buddy Gerhard, uh, who had a surgery yesterday, it went well. Uh, Gerhard was my training partner in uh, 1980 and 81. And then we ran again in the mid 80s and worked at Runner's World together. And then I lost contact. Um, and now we're chatting again. And uh, so I'm happy for him and his family. So signing off. Talk to you soon.